I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Hey, Romans, two of these Mondays left this week and next week. This is your last week of regularly scheduled classes, so it is time to buckle down. That's right. Some of you are celebrating. Some of you are panicking. It's time to get to work. Next week is semester exam week. Um, there's going to be a permission slip that's sent home later in the week, probably Thursday, um, to allow you to leave after your final exam each day. So um, we'll get that information out to you through your third hour class and then have them available in the main office here on main campus. Okay, lots of announcements. It's Monday. We know that Mondays have lots of announcements. Don't forget to turn in your books calculators you may have checked out, and past semester dual enrollment books. Those are all due. They, you should have turned those in last week, so swing by the Media Center. I know the Media Center was closed a lot last week for testing, so drop those books off, all that stuff to get that off your fines and fees list. You don't want to end the school year with that on your list. Um, also, seniors, this is the very last week. Wow. <coughs> Sorry. This is the very last week for you to purchase prom tickets. So that ship will sail on Friday. Do not miss out. Prom is this Saturday. <laughs> yeah, that has come up on us pretty quick. So make sure that you take care of that. Also, any current sophomores, juniors, or seniors, if you're interested in taking the SAT, we have some vouchers for you that would allow you to take that test for free. It is first come, first serve. We only have 64 vouchers left. This is for the June 5th administration of the SAT. You can use the score for college admittance. You can use the score to try and qualify for Bright Futures, or you can use it for a concordant score. So this is a rare opportunity. Go by and see Ms. Coleman in um, the Career Center, and she'll help you get signed up, and we'll give you that voucher. All right. Um, I'll save these for after everybody. These are more shout-outs. Okay. Hey, I'm going to wrap up our testing updates really soon, guys. We've got makeups this week. We are finishing AP testing, and by the time you're watching this, our AP computer science kids will already be over at IRSC wrapping up their morning test. Um, and then followed by statistics this afternoon, we have biology and world history going on right now, and then that's going to roll us right into ELA makeups on Tuesday and Wednesday. So for those of you that were sick or quarantined during the reading portion of our ELA test, we're going to catch you guys tomorrow and Wednesday based on what section you're missing. Hey, good morning. Got one thing for students and a couple things for teachers. Number one is uh, many of you are not in a Play-Doh class, but Play-Doh ends on Friday, this Friday the 21st. So you need to get it all wrapped up. Those of you that are doing work outside of your normal daytime uh, class uh, schedule, you'll need to get that done ASAP. Also for teachers, inventory, uh, sent out that Google sheet a few days back. Please, if you can get that done today, uh, I've got to get all this turned in by the end of the week. So please take a look at that, get your inventory on that sheet as, as soon as possible. And finally, uh, the Title I Parent Family Engagement Planning. I have room for one more teacher. If you'll let me know something today, we can add you in. Thanks. Good morning, freshmen. Just a reminder, um, I sent you, I sent an email Friday afternoon to any of you that are receiving an award on Wednesday at our award ceremony. It will be at 915 Wednesday morning. So if you are on that list, you would have received an email. If you go to the high school normally for third and fourth period, you will need to stay back. Do not get on the bus. If you get on the bus and you're getting an award, we cannot come and get you. 
So please make sure you hang back if you're getting an award. Just hang in the commons area and we'll get everybody in and we'll have a chance to celebrate. I think there's like a 129 different students getting an award. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, Friday, we have PBIS Activity Day. Ms. Smith's going to talk a little bit more about that. So we have a couple big things going on this week. And please, please, please check with your teachers. Remember, if, if you get two A's, you're exempt from those semester exams, but also um, make sure that you understand whether or not you have an exam in a class. And Friday, we will start the collection of Chromebooks. Uh, your Chromebooks that you receive here on the freshman campus do not go to the high school with you. They stay here. And so if you do not have to take semester exams, you will know that by Friday. And you will, during sixth period, um, go to 208 to go ahead and check in your Chromebook and charger. Um, if you do not turn that in, you will have $250 appear on your fines and fees. Ms. Myers, will that follow them to the high school and will they be ineligible for homecoming tickets if they take that with them? Oh, yes, they will. So homecoming's happening in the fall. So you're going to worry about GPA and fines and fees lists because that is going to follow you all the way through graduation. Ask our seniors. So make sure you take care of that and you don't have to come up here. Um, we will call your parents and try to hunt it down. A lot of the Chromebooks that we have here, by the way, uh, after June 1st, they're not going to work anyway because their operating systems are no longer updating and we're getting new ones next year. So it's a really no benefit for you to keep it um, because it won't be functional for a whole lot longer after we're out of here. And bingo numbers. Let's see. I have I-25 and B14. So teachers, check your cards. We gotta have some winners out there somewhere soon. Ms. Smith? All right, guys, just a word of advice. If you can't find your Chromebook or your charger, check under your bed, check in your parents' car, check your cousin's house. I don't know, find it, okay? Don't, don't just say I can't find it. All right, uh, with that, PBIS this Friday, here's the process, guys. At lunch, you will see me at the table with a cart. You must pay 10 Brahmin bucks first to attend the event. Any extra Brahmin bucks that you have, we have additional raffles that will happen. So you get to choose what you want to have the chance at winning. We have the Rapids Water Park tickets. We have gift cards. We have Bluetooth speakers. We have just stuff, okay? Um, look at the pictures on the bin. I made it as simple as I could. Look at the picture, pick your choice. And let's have fun on Friday, guys. Don't get in trouble. You get a referral, you get sent out, you get on the no-go list. Let's wrap it up with a bang. Um, please don't wait till Wednesday. Wednesday is our last day selling, okay? You have lunchtime. Make sure you purchase um, your entry fee into the event, and we look forward to having a blast on Friday. That's it. All right, going to end today's announcements with a couple of shout outs. First of all, I want to shout out the new junior class governing board. So this is the class of 2023, <laughs> right? 2023. Yeah, 2023. Okay, congratulations to Madison Hilliard, Jolena Moreno, Kevin Galdemez, and Diana Rodriguez. You guys are the new junior class governing board members for next year. And I don't have the names for the other classes, so we'll shout those out when I get them. And the last, I love ending our announcements with senior shout outs for college acceptance letters. Congratulations to Melissa Ponte. She has been accepted to the University of North Florida. Congratulations. And Gianna Emmerthal, we have shouted her out multiple times this year about acceptance letters, but she has made a final decision taking a deep breath, ready? She is going to attend Indiana University, Purdue University at Indianapolis. I did it in one take. Um, she has received a full ride there with an additional $22,000 grant to help her cover um, other expenses. So congratulations, Gianna, we're super proud of you. Um, buy a really good jacket. It's gonna be cold next fall. All right. Make it a good one as together we move forward. And be great. Be Romans. All day.
My favorite thing about this class is getting to learn all the new things that I could possibly learn. Anything from plumbing to how to use a hammer. Um, I like it because it's a hands-on class. Like, you get to do things hands-on, build all kinds of projects and stuff. And that's just the type of learner I am. You can get all types of certifications. You can get um, carpentry certifications, and plumbing certifications, masonry certifications. You can have something later on in life when you graduate, you will know how to do things and you'll have all this for certifications for the class. Good morning, I'm Melissa Arnold, Supervisor of Elections for Okeechobee County. Good morning, I'm Alexandra Navarrete, Election Specialist. We will be visiting your cafeteria on Thursday, all the lunch shifts. We'd love to see you there. Please come to our table so we can answer any questions you might have about voting. We will have voter registration forms for everyone. We will have um, pre-registration for 16 year olds all the way up to 18 year olds. You can go ahead and get registered to vote. We would love to see you and answer any questions you might have. Estaremos visitando su escuela en la hora de su almuerzo para inscribir y preinscribir votantes. Lo único que necesita es su licencia para conducir y los últimos cuatro números de su seguro social. Nos encantaría si ustedes visitarían nuestra mesa en esos días. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you very much. We hope to see you on Thursday.